the numbers are staggering. Since the program began in 1995, tens of thousands of health workers and community volunteers have overcome geographical and social hurdles to deliver an estimated 12 billion doses of life-saving polio drops to children in the Southeast Asia region. Just as important, almost one million stool specimens were collected and processed during the investigation of polio cases. Partners from all over the world have supported these efforts and provided generous funding and technical expertise to support governments in their efforts to wipe out polio from threatening the health and well-being of their children. Until recently, there were very few optimists who felt it was possible to eradicate polio in the Southeast Asia region. With a population growth rate outpacing most regions of the world and 40 million live births per year, reaching every child in the Southeast Asia region proved to be more than a challenge to governments and health workers on the ground. India alone recorded over 26 million births in 2011. In addition to the sheer numbers, many of the countries in the region have other challenges for health workers to overcome. Rugged mountainous terrains, flooded plains, conflict and insecure areas, islands with sparse populations, densely populated urban slums and migrant populations, including labourers and religious pilgrims. Year after year, health workers and volunteers were the constant force driving efforts on the ground. The most basic selfless action, providing two drops of polio to as many children as possible during the innumerable campaigns, year after year, inspired us all to persevere. In order to make progress, new strategies were developed and tested. Some were tested for the first time in India. These strategies included mapping mobile populations, conducting operational and scientific research, evidence-based data for corrective actions, and political commitment and accountability at all levels, backed by adequate resources. If there is one factor which is likely to have a long-lasting effect, it is accountability, from the very top to the bottom. As we take stock of lessons learned and reap the benefits of the efforts made by all involved in polio eradication, we must continue to remember that our current success can be reversed in a fraction of the time it took us to get here. We have all along ensured that this program should not suffer on account of financial resource. I take this opportunity to reaffirm India's commitment complete polio eradication. This is why governments and all partners must continue to make a case for sustained funding, high quality surveillance and high coverage reaching every child to ensure the job of polio eradication is completed. Governments have shown and confirmed their commitment by voicing these in public forums and by actively participating and advocating for continued vigilance the immunization process, what we call National Immunization Day, twice a year. And our Excellency, the Prime Minister, inaugurates this program on live television with the children in their house, in her house. And this is broadcasted. And of course, we all take part. What is more important is the political <coughs> leadership. You have the strong leadership committed to uh, eradication of poly or, or, or polio or any other that you want to achieve, you can achieve. But what we need is the strong political leadership. And we have that. We had before, we have now. As the few remaining countries continue their efforts and learn from the strategies which worked in other regions, we're constantly reminded that no matter how much time and money is invested, without leadership, we will not succeed. As we reach 20 months without a case of polio, we need to continually remind ourselves and celebrate the people who have made it possible, the volunteers and health workers who have taken us a step closer to realize the vision of a polio-free Southeast Asia region.